states that this video may not be appropriate for children of 13 and under. Parental discretion is advised. If you break the rules, I'll eat your entire planet. Hi everyone, it's Raziel Kane and I'm back with another tour review, but today I'm not putting my face on camera because my hair isn't done and I look terrible. So um, today we're going to review this wonderful package. Uh, it's uh, the Jada Toys Nano uh, Warriors Nano Figure, Nano Metal Figs, there you go. And let's turn around. This is the content of the box. Nice product shot. And the reason I got this set is, well, because I wanted it, but the uh, catalyst was uh, probably Inutabi. Check out this channel. He did a fantastic review of these figure. So I pulled the plug and instead of waiting for Walmart in Canada to maybe potentially have it, or maybe Toys R Us, uh, maybe they would have had it because I've seen the Jada, um, was it uh, the wizard thing, Harry Potter. But... I can't trust these stores to have them in retail because half the time they don't have what the US is showing or the rest of the world for that matter. So I went on Amazon.com and found them for $24.99 US plus uh, shipping. So it, maybe I paid a little extra uh, to get them, but I am completely not disappointed. And RC's facing the wrong way. Um, I really wanted to have this set to be able to put put it with uh, Omega Supreme, uh, but I realized that the scaling is way off, so I'm gonna, well, still probably put them on that shelf, but uh, it's a fantastic set. A um, couple of things, we're gonna go over the figures, and then after that I'll give you my pros and cons. So let's start with Megatron, he looks G1 enough, gonna have to put my hand on every, so these are all die cast there. You know, heavy enough. The molded details are pretty good. And, but you don't have, you know, much for face. Sorry, it's hard on camera to get the proper angle at this range. But they look really good. The Septicon logo, you have a little bit of red, uh, black, silver. It's all painted, all metal. And I'm trying to tell my four years old, don't bang them together because I don't want the paint to scoff. And, but it looks really good. You know, they don't transform, they just stand there. And my oldest was like, why are they all on surfboards? And then I looked at him and then he laughed. Thundercracker, it's cool because uh, if you look at the three seekers, they you can tell, uh, you know, you have the whole trinity of seekers that we're used to see. They're, they have two of the same mold, which is repaint. Uh, Jada could have cheaped out and just do three straight repaint, but they gave a different articulation to Skywarp, and I love it. You know, so you have very, very s small details for the uh, null rays. Like, it's kind of just there. Uh, it, they show a little more on Starscream and Thundercracker. Uh, but the paint, you know, it's pretty good, too. Uh, the color scheme is spot on. It works. And I really like these three little guys i wish they would have had you know three different molds but i get it you know you want to save some money sound wave we could have used a little you know couple mini cassettes uh you know maybe like in between the legs you could have had a rumble or something but at this scale it would have been pretty hard to do but i think it could have worked uh you have his gun which is mo uh, mounted on his uh, wrist which never did that but you have the uh, sonic uh, blaster here on uh, the shoulder so and the face it, you can clearly tell that it's sound wave so that's pretty good and then you have my man shock wave and purple potato does this is a very good representation the eye the face it's good the gun could have used a different paint on the tip uh, but pretty good you know, they're all in different poses and and they're all, you know, pretty unique. Quite good. I really like them. So, the Decepticons, that's it. Which is pretty good. Honestly, it's it's 
well done. I like it. Uh, then you have the Autobots. You have uh, Optimus, stoic as ever, serious. Two Autobot logos, which uh, is wrong. Uh, you only usually have one on his left shoulder. Uh, the Ion Blaster is pretty good. Uh, you have, you know, maybe very little details in the back, but the face sculpt is pretty good for that scale. Uh, the eyes are not painted, but we'll keep, forgive that. The chest is pretty nice. I like the grill for the abs. All silver, you know, so that's very, I, I like it. Bumblebee, you know, the face is a little, I don't know, a little weird, maybe not enough details, but the Autobot logo is pretty big on his chest. You have the black and yellow, it's pretty good. No details for the wheels here. Which, in robot mode, you never saw the wheels in the show. Uh, the back is pretty uh, pretty accurate. Pretty good. I'm just glad it's not the movie Bumblebee. You have Cliffy, who's a different mold than Bumblebee. They could have cheaped out and they didn't. So that's pretty good. Uh, the Autobot logo, the windows are really nice. There's a little more paint, black, gray, and red. Uh, face sculpt is really good. You can tell from a distance, you know, it's a crib jumper. I like this pose, it's pretty good. Then you have Sideswipe. And I think his face is pretty, it's not, it's not correct. And I think on some pictures, the shoulder cannon is on the left side. Some other, it's on the right side. So they chose the left side. And at this point, I don't know which one is accurate or not. Uh, but the white on the, the legs plus the black foot. You have the uh, red on the side, back. You have the, uh, the paint, the gun. It's, you know, fairly detailed. It's pretty good. Then you have his bro, which, just like the uh, Earthrise mold, doesn't come with a gun. He has that shoulder thing here, and uh, that shoulder, that uh, wrist gun here. So, you know, he doesn't have a, a rifle. And then you have the air intake, which is probably the wrong color. Uh, it's all black and it's glued with his head, so it looks kind of weird, but they have the ears They have the right mold, but if you can tell there's there should be a little more uh, yellow and uh, On uh, on the ears, but uh, the black kind of blended in with it, so it's Pretty good anyway, and you can Almost tell that he's a different tra transformation than Sideswipe and if you put them side by side, you know, they're not the same mold, so I think that's uh, pretty good attention uh, for the Lambros. Happy about those. This is Scatman Scrutters. Uh, sorry, Jazz. Uh, I think they kind of messed up the face. Not enough details, and then you just have the blue visor, but live with it, you know. Uh, the gun is white. You have a finger. So that black drop is supposed to be a finger, I'm guessing. Um, you could have paid a little more attention to detail when painting him. But he looks pretty good. You know, I wonder if Toy Hacks is gonna do decals for those. Uh, I'm just kidding. I, I, I doubt they would. But I uh, have a paint smudge here. Yeah. Little white thing. Uh, black thing. So, eh. But uh, I think he's probably my least favorite of the set. Uh, but still, it's, you know, it's fun to have. Uh, then you have Wheeljack. Whose uh, ears are... I liked it. The face paint is completely smudged uh, into one color and you have two little dots for the eyes. So that's a miss at this uh, this distance. You, from afar, yeah, it looks good enough. Uh, no gun, you have his little shoulder cannon. Uh, you have the, uh, the wings uh, from the, uh, uh, the tail fin uh, in the back. Foot are good, uh, different pose. Fairly original. Which one? Oh, Prowl. You have Prowl here. Uh, good face sculpt. And the eyes, I like this one. Looks really good. And you have his rifle, no shoulder cannons. Because I think animation model, he didn't have any. That was uh, Blue Streak. So those are clearly cartoon accurate. Well, they tried to do cartoon accurate color. So the legs, you know, they could use a little more paint, but at this scale, it's still pretty good. The back is really just one black, uh, you know, just one paint stroke and you're done. 
uh, but you can tell it's Prowl, so really good. Autobot logo, actually the Autobot logo is pretty spot on, like that's not uh, just spray paint, you know, it's it's, it's, a, it's a stamp or something. So really good, and the detail for the uh, the horns on the head, red, I, I like that. And then you have the old soldier of season one, Ironhide, and I think he looks really good. Honestly, the head sculpt is great. Uh, the hand uh, painted a little more. Uh, the uh, the whole details of the red, the metallic red looks fantastic. And then the silver for the crotch. The window, it's actually really nice. And then under here, you have the Autobot logo. So, pretty spot on for cartoon accuracy. So, these nines are pretty awesome. I like them. Now, I'm going to review the other three. And I think they're out of place. And I don't understand Jada's move there. You have Ultra Magnus, which is very well done. I mean, this is cartoon G1. Uh, you have the face sculpt, who's fairly detailed, but maybe a little overpainted. You can see, you know, the overlap of blue and gray on the forehead. Uh, but you have the details for his uh, shoulder. Uh, he's a little thin, you know, from this angle. And, but he looks pretty good. The leg details are good. It matches what we saw in the cartoon. No gun, uh, but he does have this uh, little shoulder cannon. So, nice attention. But I could have used a gun. Um, hot Rod. Because uh, I don't think that's Rodimus. Uh, but yeah, the, uh, the hands are kind of molded. But they could have used a little more details. That flame decal on the chest is really good. Not decal, but the flame paint. The head sculpt is fairly accurate. It looks pretty good. You have the tail fin. Uh, which is accurate. It looks good. The black leg. Uh, oh, black leg. So maybe that is Rodimus Prime. Uh, but still, he's a little short. So I'm guessing it's going to be more of a hot rod. But looks really good. And then RC. I'm a huge fan of RC. And that face looks terrible. I mean, accurate sculpt. But uh, could use more paint. Uh, the face is a little weird. Uh, the Autobot logo is okay. Uh, the details on the arm, you know, the pink, looks good. The back is actually pretty nicely uh, detailed. Uh, you have articulation at the back. Well, not articulation, but you have knees in the back to simulate articulation. So, fairly good, but still, face sculpt looks like shit. Well, not shit, but it looks, it could have looked better. But I think it's a bad move to have these three in this set. Season 1, Season 1, Season 3, or movie. I would have preferred to have removed these three, add Reflector to this bunch, and maybe other or other Seekers, or have mini cassettes. Just have like one, one surfboard, like my son says, one surfboard, and have all the, the, the four uh, Season 1, uh, well actually the three Season 1, uh, uh, mini cassette because frenzy wasn't uh, part of it in uh, season one so that would have made sense and then for, for the autobots you have prowl we could have used uh, blue streak you, uh, ironhide we could have used uh, ratchet uh, none of the other mini bots are there uh, so they could have replaced these three with you know reflector mini cassette and i don't know at least give us ratchet at least ratchet would have been yeah i mean don't get me wrong i like these figures but I think I would have preferred to have a whole season one. And then after that, Jada, based on the popularity, could have went with a season two box set, a season three box set, a movie box set. I wouldn't mind having four box and then maybe have a box for uh, the combiners, uh, you know, that scale with this. I see a huge opportunity here uh, for Jada and I hope they grab that opportunity and empty my wallet. So that's it, guys. That's my quick review of... Uh, the Jada Toys uh, Nano Metal Figs for the Transformers and it's a set that I really wanted. I'm glad I have him. I'm going to use this for uh, display on my shelves and uh, I'm not great at pictures and any or anything. I just really like the look and feel of these guys. They're heavy uh, for their size. It's all die cast, no plastic, uh, nicely painted like they didn't cheap out. It's a great set. If you, you think you should buy this, yes buy this i recommend it so that's it guys i hope you liked the review if you did please like subscribe and hit the bell 
Also leave a comment, I love reading those. Keep coming back, I have more on the way. And remember, nothing in life gives you the right to be an asshole. Take care!